Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from the Jolly Foot Elf. Welcome back to another card video. So today I'm using the Gangs All Mirror from um, the Celebration Catalog to create a cute little shaker card. So here I'm just showing you, if you've never mm, used our cling, new cling stamps before, you take off the backer sheet and then you take off the backer sheet of the sticker and you just put it down. So you wanna do on the side where you can see the splits and then you just line them up and you set it down and that's it. And then you have a cling stamp. So that's how you do that. So I'm going to be bringing in my Stamparatus and I'm going to be stamping two different um, scenes. So the front of the card is going to be this group of meerkats. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> and again, I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black for this. And then I'm just going to flip that over and bring in the inside card layer. And I'm going to stamp that little dude down there and then from all of us. So I'm not putting a sentiment on the front of this card. This card could be a birthday card. This card could be a Mother's Day card. This card could be a happy retirement card. This card could be pretty much anything that you want to make of it. So, um, yeah. So, I am bringing in some of my browns. The one thing I really hope Stampin' Up! does with the new annual catalog is give us early espresso. I feel like all of our browns are more cool toned. Like crumb cake is pretty cool toned. Soft suede is pretty cool toned. The only warm that we really have is the bronzer and it's too dark. So here I'm just going through all of the colors and trying to figure out which ones I wanna pick. So in the end, I decided to do light crumb cake. No, I used ivory and light um, pretty pink. Pretty pink, Misty. Petal pink, oh my word, brain, words hard. <laughs> so I went ahead and stamped the little dude. I didn't add any more ink to him, but I wanted to use my color combination to see if I liked it. And I did. So it worked out really, really well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and color him. First, I'm bringing in a crumb cake marker, and then I'm going to bring in both of the soft suede, and I'm just dotting and because I'm trying to create the look of sand, and that's the best way to do it. You just put down a base color, um, and then you just dot, or you can just get the base color and do a bunch of dots. It's up completely up to you. So I'm using the ivory shade to kind of add some shadow and depth, so underneath their arms, um, where somebody else's body was covering them, um, more at the bottom of their um, bodies. I'm not really worried about a particular light source or anything like that. Just doing some basic coloring. Speaking of coloring, on Wednesday, I will have my announcement for my Stamping Blends University. So um, make sure you come back and check out that. I will also have a different video for you guys that day. I'm sorry I didn't have any last week, but last week was rough. <laughs> I feel like I've been in an RA flare for six weeks. It's been really rough in the weather in Texas. And I'm sure most of the country has just been cold and hot, cold and hot, cold and hot. And my body, when the barometric pressure changes, my body does not, it doesn't like it. So for the sand, I did the same thing that I did um, on the inside of the card. And then I'm bringing in the dark pool party to kind of go behind them. Initially, I thought I was going to mask and do some ink blending. And then I was like, meh, <laughs> meh. So I just went ahead and went around them with the light pool party. Again, I used the dark pool party at the bottom because that's where it would be the darkest kind of a shadow around them. And then I just kind of did like a dome around them because I knew I was going to use the windows. Um, I don't remember the exact name of these, but all of them will be, they will all be linked down below. So I brought in a white gel pen to go back over the whites of their eyes, etc. And then I'm bringing in this party. This is from the Bonanza Body Suite. I don't remember the exact word, name of this paper. But again, everything will be linked down below. But I knew I wanted to use the metallic twine and sequins that is also a celebration item. And they go so perfectly with this paper. And I haven't used this paper with you guys yet. So... Yeah, so I brought in this present paper and then I brought in the stripe and I couldn't decide if I was going to use the stripe or as the main and then use the present as the um, companion. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> 
So I did this and then I thought, well, maybe I'm going to bring in the Bermuda Bay paper um, that has the confetti on it. I mean, I went back and forth on this and I think either way would have looked great. Um, if you use the, you know, the stripes as the big one and then the presents as a small one, or if you use the, you know, Bermuda Bay one as the big one in the stripe. I mean, you could, I mean, this paper all coordinates together. That's the great thing about Stampin' Up! in their designer series paper it all coordinates so you could really get away with using any any pattern out of this set um, I didn't want to use any of the animals because again I'm doing meerkats so yeah so once I get that um adhered down I'm going to bring in my um this is the dye from the snow globes um from the holiday catalog because I'm going to be using the coordinating um domes here. So I'm putting down some of that um sequins from the metallic twine and sequins pack from celebration and then I realized today <laughs> I was today years old when I realized that there is adhesive on both sides of these domes I had no idea so you peel a sticker off the back you put it down then you peel the sticker off the front they tear the paper down <laughs> I, had, I did not realize that. I don't know how I missed that this winter, but yeah. So then I'm going to go ahead and trim out and um, just take off the um, white. And then I'm going to wrap that um, Bermuda Bay twine around three times and kind of have it meet in the middle. Now I've already put adhesive down, but I put the adhesive down before I remembered that I wanted to do the twine. So after I do that, I'm going to do a double bow um, with the twine. So I just cut a piece in half and then just tied it together in a bow. And I didn't leave that in because I think that literally took me 20 minutes. Um, it's really hard, number one, with these new nails. I've, this is the first time I've had like nails, nails and since September. So yeah, it was a struggle. But once I get it done, I'm going to go ahead and adhere that with some glue dots. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this card as much as I did. And like I said, this could really work for a whole lot of different occasions. So anyway, but make sure you come back on Wednesday. Where we'll talk about my Stampin' Blends University and how that's going to work. Um, again, all the supplies are linked down below along with a coordinating blog post. And I will see you real soon for another video. Bye for now.